Hello audience, this is Dennis Seatsma, Dennis John Seatsma Productions, Homestead, Florida. I'm an enthusiast. I'm a marine enthusiast. I'm an automotive enthusiast. But this is not a do-it-yourself video. This is a video diary log. And uh, do-it-yourself work can result in death and injury. So if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it let a professional do it and I love the professionals they've taught me a lot but I'm a out of work electrical engineer I, I love to work so uh, if I can find a high paying job using my skills that'd be great but for right now it is this is segment two for the day this is uh, January 13th 2024 it's 11.36 a.m. Eastern Time. It's a Saturday. It's 82 degrees. We're expecting a cold front and rain very soon, but it's beautiful right now. So I'm trying to get the first pin repaired on my 1994 Astro Van LTEXT. And I did successfully, using the hemostats, I did get that to crimp. So most people would call this a finished repair. But this is not how I do, I do it yourself. This is how Dennis John Seatsma does things. And I like to solder my connections once they're crimped and then use two coats of, uh, I can't remember, remember the a liquid, liquid, yeah, liquid insulation tape. Or, yeah, anyway, I keep, I keep forgetting the name. I told you in the past segment, I use Starbright. But I coat it with that two times and then use electrical tape. But for now, I'm waiting for the soldering iron to heat up. And uh, I like to use a Weller soldering iron. I buy these online. I got a 30-watt and a pencil, which is, you know, I don't know. This might be a 100-watt. I don't know. But anyway, you need a substantial soldering iron to heat up these things. And I clean it using a wire brush. And uh, here dangling, you see the big uh, 80 amp relay I added to the ignition switch to protect it from overload. I kept burning out ignition switches, and I, I've replaced everything, people. The fan motor, uh, the switches, everything. But when these old Astro vans, and I don't know about the newer ones, but the old ones, if you put the rear fan on high or the rear AC on high, you burn out the A contact in the ignition switch and uh, then you gotta replace the ignition switch and that's not expensive but it is a lot of work and you may have to pay a professional to do it and uh, you know people have done work on this thing over the years and I don't know how bad it is until I get in here and see what other people have done with butt splices and wires just twisted together when I've had the quote-unquote professionals work on it uh, you know and this is part the so part of this wiring I'm looking at right now is part of the Viper system that I had a professional stereo and auto shop do auto electric but um, anyway I'll I'll fix up the wiring that I see that I don't like later and this is not how to uh, how to this is how Dennis John Seatsma does it and this is different than other people maybe uh, I use the middle name I don't like the name anyway Seatsma uh, for reasons I won't go into but number one it's hard to spell number two uh, you know um, there's a lot of Dennis Seatsmas around the world apparently so I always put in my middle name but as for plans I'm gonna solder this and then I'm gonna put that into the first hole of the window power WDO PWR and call it a repair once I paint and insulate that wire I'm gonna paint it twice with the paintable insulation and then uh, a coat of electrical tape and that'll make it uh, should make it durable and the wires longer so if I have to slice uh, uh, splice in something later that's cool now uh, I have three more of these to do besides this one and the, the, the on the past videos 
and things I posted to the van groups, you see the back of it is like a computer where they share contacts and stuff and they don't have a wire going to every terminal like this, I don't think. I haven't really seen the back yet because I can't turn it around to very well. I can only move it a little bit to see in the back and I don't want to break anything but um, it may be di more difficult. This may be the easy one that I did first. We'll find out. But as far as the pins go from Speedway Motors, here are the pins. And I believe it did come with a depinning tool, but I think I misplaced it, which is unusual for me. Normally I mark and bag things up like this so I don't forget between projects. Now between, besides this project, also on this channel you'll see my playlist for the Craftsman GT5000 with a Kohler engine that I'm repairing from fire damage and uh, right now I'm trying to get a pulley, the mobility belt pulley. I can't get, I was talking to Rotary yesterday, their technical support, because my tractor has a 10 millimeter bolt and I, the pulley they sent me was for an 8 millimeter bolt so I talked to Rotary technical support quite a bit yesterday. I had to get past Amazon and I had to get past the, the third party that sold the part online to get all the way to Rotary technical support but they were very nice and uh, they want me to ship the bad pulley back to them so they can inspect it and then follow up on the specs for the pulley from Craftsman. Uh, in the meantime I'm going to have to go to several lawnmower shops in South Florida trying to find a pulley that will work because I don't think I'm going to get the right one online or from anybody else because everything we crossed over I went from the Craftsman number. Anyway, these are problems you run into that you have to ferret out uh, and I hope you like my video diary if you learned anything in this video please give me a thumbs up at the very least uh, I have 349 subscribers now two people have joined thank you I cannot be monetized for this work uh, that I know is crude and you may disagree how I do the work but I can't be monetized by YouTube until I have 4,000 subscribers and I may never get there and I really get annoyed with people that think I'm being paid every time they watch a video. It don't work that way, folks. You have to have so many subscribers and so many views. And I got over 75,000 views, so that's not a problem. Anyway, audience, uh, fellow enthusiasts, thank you for watching.